Let's play some matches with Leo the Net Russia in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 265 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So let's start the matches versus Fly ND at 3,800 trophies, who has since dropped a lot of trophies to find matchups much faster in Tour 7. He's turning around 2,600 trophies now. And that's the almost compulsory now to find opponents much faster in high tours, like uh, between 15 and 30 seconds instead of waiting for minutes. All right, so I was lucky that he started to uh, commit some unforced errors. Two unforced errors in a row. That's quite rare from him. Flandy is uh, generally very accurate. Actually, he plays more accurately when he's playing with Kaito versus uh, Victoria using high serve big forehand or versus another Kaito. I have faced him several times using the two other styles and I had noticed that uh, versus the two other playing styles, well, he was much more accurate. Okay, so, of course, Rushing to the net and then hoping for quick cash to activate is mainly what I do in those matches. As you can see, the way I position my Leo is not very good. And that was particularly true for this match that was played before that the new matchmaking system was installed, before that I dropped my trophies. And so, yep, since that match, well, I have practiced uh, much more with volley, and lately, well, I am playing most of matches with volley. I'm taking advantage of this uh, waiting time. I'm waiting uh, to max my hammer and my forge to uh, play with volley, to train with volley. Well, I remember that I used to play very badly with high serve big forehand too and then I trained some uh, thousands of matches with that side and well I'm still not a good high serve big forehand player at all but I mean I'm uh, much less a noob player with that style now than uh, four months ago for instance playing with Victoria so I hope that I can uh, play like uh, two or three thousand matches with volley while waiting for uh, the two cards that are interesting for me, the Hammer and the Forge, to max out. Well, I can, uh, yep, can take advantage of this uh, period to train with volley. So, in this match versus Schumacher, I was uh, lucky that uh, he chose the big apple wire because uh, he was playing with cover load so he had two huge hands but the problem is that his stamina was not very high and then playing with a special string having no stamina shield is very detrimental for his uh, lower stamina when I say lower is uh, versus uh, Kaito playing with antioxidants for instance or Kaito sourcing of course so by the end of the match, that was not too tricky for uh, this Leo, the net rusher, to counter his uh, two hands. Let's play versus Fly Chimin, Sam Bjorn and uh, Schumacher. Two very strong hands. And of course, some very hard shots. Fly Chimin sure knows how to hit very hard. But, uh, well, now and then, he commits some enforced errors. Yep, some very nice cross-court shots towards the corners. He is particularly impressive while hitting with a Victoria. He has the most powerful Victoria in the game, as well as a fly robot. But I haven't had the pleasure to face the Victoria of a fly robot yet. I have only faced the baby account of Fly Robot, Faye. 
who plays with uh, volley with this um, second account yeah all right so some very bad volleys there he has those very very nice down the line passing shots huge shots and this double fault which gave him three match points but fortunately flight chairman now and then hit those shots too fast well for this one he could not do anything but for this one, for instance, same problem than uh, two points ago. He didn't try to control, just tried to hit very hard. And that's sometimes, well, when you lead by uh, two or three points, you don't mind much. You just try to hit very hard. And even on the match point, he was trying to hit very, very hard. And, well, unluckily, he put it into the alley and was very lucky. Let's play a versus another overpower Kaito using this time the antioxidants and the gallon fiber. So the gallon fiber is obviously is more useful versus volley players when you have uh, two very strong hands. For instance, when you are playing with Victoria using the low serve aggressive baseline of style or when you are playing with uh, the uh, two strong hands build with Kaito which was the build of uh, Schumacher and Fly Chaimin in the two previous matches for instance I think that with 74 forehand and 73 backhand the critical would uh, be triggered much more easily with this uh, critical shot tier 2 ability that the gallon fiber offers yeah that was funny to play on windshield wiper mode even standing near the net like that that's that's a bit weird it's like the, uh, the baseline is near the net and that's it's funny and would I be lucky? no he smashed it back. Always funny to see this rabbit hit a smash with his volley stat. He's coming back. And I was serving very poorly in this match. It was useless to have a 58 serve stat and serve that way. Fortunately, well, with a bit more practice, I am doing a bit better now with Leo while serving. Those matches were play when I kind of started to play again a lot with Leo in the twist seven. So this build that I had with Leo was before that I upgraded the Gladiator to level twelve. So. I still had an 80 volley stat with Leo. Now I have an 83, and you will see that by the end of this video, with the, uh, the cards I'm going to show, as usual, the cards that I am using for that build. So for this match, I'm playing versus uh, RK47 using the Diwali string, which is a quite good string. For use versus the uh, net rushers, it has stamina shield tier 2, critical tier 2, which has just been activated, and a long catch ability, which is uh, pretty good, pretty useful to try and catch some volleys of uh, the net rushers. So this Kaito has a very decent stat, which is almost the new standard now in Tour 7. So lately I have been trying to practice a lot to uh, make my volleys stronger. But uh, I haven't been successful yet 
we need to uh, find a way to hit much, much harder volleys to annoy those uh, very agile Kaitos much more by the end of the match. My opponent had a, a Wi-Fi problem and couldn't return properly. It's too bad for the quality of the match. Too bad that the match ended that way. Well, let's face uh, a Victoria having the same stats than my Victoria when she plays with the low serve aggressive baseliner style. And this Victoria was using the Koala string. Which is not bad for use versus net rushes. Especially with Victoria. Because it has critical tier 2 and if you hit fast enough well, my opponent was hitting a bit too fast there, catching even the net. But you have a big chance to uh, activate it. And it has a stamina shield on tier 2, which is good. Very nice lob here. When you need to use a boon, which has low stamina level, which is the case with uh, Victoria. Whatever Bjorn she uses, her stamina stat will never be very high. And if she uh, use Victoria with the antioxidants or with the Kato sourcing, then she loses all her strengths, which are the two hands. With the 78 forehand, well, that's enough to trigger critical now and then but uh, well as I said in uh, some previous videos 78 forehand of course is enough when you can swipe very fast on your device but on phones which don't register very correctly your swipe well 78 forehand is now not uh, very sufficient versus overpowered Kaitos or very high stats volley players in high tours well, you are going to see the build that I'm having now. I was using those cards. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me play with Leo the Net Russia in the 27 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.